G'day guys and welcome to me lab. Now this is our 15th lesson in our Wolfenstein 3D or Bogenstein 3D Godot 4 FPS tutorial series and this one isn't going to take too long. So we're going to be adding in our med packs in this and I am hoping that some of you have already worked this out because I've left it in our must may might a few times. It's the whole reason we do a must may might is that I encourage you to try these things on your own first. So that's what we're getting up to. Let's go through our WWSS and we'll come out the other side and get some coding done. Well we already have the bare bones of a basic game with Scores, lives, weapons, ammo, enemies, etc. So we're doing really well. Well, we're adding a med kit. Pretty simple today. Um, why? Well, so our player can regen health along their journey so that the game isn't too difficult. The skills we're going to need, well, we're going to need to be able to understand and apply how to use scenes, scripts, and sprites. And our success today, well, that's going to look like you being able to walk over med kits in the game and get that health boost. So this is where we left it off last time, if you recall. So we have our guns that we can now throw into our scene. Let's just jump in and have a quick play. So we refresh our memory. So I've changed it. So I've now starting with the handgun, which is how we do start the game. I can still shoot me Nazis. I can run over, I can grab a machine gun if I find it. There we go, it changes the sprite. Um, it also changes the fire rate. I can then grab the minigun there it changes right so that's where we're up to so far what we're going to do now is add in a med kit to go with that so the way we're going to do that we need to change a few things first so let's go to our scripts let's go to our player script and right up to the top now at the top of our player script we have this variable for our player's health to really get this working easily we're going to move this into our global script so i'm going to Control X, I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to go to me global. And I'm going to paste it in there. So we've now got var player health integer of 100 in our global. That's going to ruin some things in our player script. So let's go back into our player script now and solve those problems. So if we scroll on down, here is what's going to be the issue. We now don't have this variable in here, but we can fix it super easy. Click on the front there and add in the word global dot, and suddenly it is looking for the global script instead of for the local script. So we can go through and fix those up. There might be some more things elsewhere. Actually, there will be, there will be in our UI. So let's go to our UI now. There should be some broken things in here. So let's have a look. There's a few spots where we grab um, the player health through the, the actual player node. So I just want to find where we've done that of course my memory is not good enough here we go all right so this get parent we need to change where it says get parent to just be global like that for our player health um where else might we have that in here all right down here health no that all looks okay it's possible i've missed something else and we'll just have to find it um, when we go to run it and it gives us an error. Oh, here we go. Here's another one here in our animations, of course. So that just gets replaced with global like that. So that might hopefully have repaired any damage that I did by moving that uh, bit of code. All right. So now what we want to do, we've moved our health handling into our global. Let's now find our ammo scene and duplicate it. So I'm going to just duplicate our ammo scene like we've done before, but I'm going to call it medkit like that let's open up this new med kit i'm going to rename our root node to be med kit i'm going to detach the script from it add a new script in called med kit just like that and the code we're going to put in there is similar but different to what we've been doing um, with our ammo and all that other stuff so here we go so we're still doing the whole um uh, area 3d and all that stuff um, but here now we are going to be amending our player health so global.player health equals min global player health plus 25 to a maximum of 100 because we don't want to exceed 100 right so we've now um, got a med kit that gives us 25 health um, but does not exceed 100 we then just print it for debug purposes and we delete our med kit out so that is that bit done as well i think what we probably need to do now is throw a few of those into our scene and see if this all works all right oh no getting carried away the sprite let's click in our sprite 3d because at the moment if we go to our 3d view it's currently an ammo satchel isn't it so let's change that click on our animations over in our um, inspector window and our frame needs to be frame one so let's save that let's get our 3d view of our world and let's drag a few med kits into our world just like so and now we can go and test this out so let's save that Let's click on the play button and let's jump in and see what happens. All right, so I need to get shot a bit. So we lose some health. Get rid of this guy now, get rid of that guy. All right, so my health has gone down to 60. 
up to 85, perfect. Uh, let's also grab a new gun, make sure that all works. What about a mini gun? Now, will it exceed 100? No, so it's gone from 85 to 100, meaning that that cap worked as well. There we go, guys, that is all functioning and working. We are getting so close to having a fully fledged, like, structure to build a full fps around well done let's have a look at our must may might so you don't forget any of the steps though all right what you must get done you've got to add that new scene and script for the med kit update the sprite for the med kit as well as updating your player script and your global script and your ui script so those are all to do with just moving around the, the player health stuff um what you may like to do is keep making a more detailed and difficult game connecting all your levels up and what you might want to consider is how would we make a secret passage? So Wolfenstein 3D is quite famous for its secret passages. All right, so to debrief, guys, well, it's all tweaks and improvements now, right? So most of the core gameplay is coded. So as I said before, give us give us some hints and tips about what you want me to do in the next videos. We're going to do secret passages soon, but what do you want me to do? And next time, as I said, secret passages, right? So the quote that I want to leave you with this week is from Albert Camus and it is we are all special cases. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.